You're not bad at mathematics. You were just taught wrong. I probably should rephrase that and say, you just had a bad experience. I've known so many students, had so many students, and a common thing, a very common thing that I always heard from students was they would talk about their old teachers. And the story went one of two ways. Oh, back in high school, you know, I had Mr. Phelps and he was the coolest teacher ever and he was so good, blah, blah, etc. Or it was, oh, I had this terrible teacher in high school and because of her, I hate math. The truth is, certain people are naturally better at certain things. So some people are just naturally better teachers. So a lot of times I think if you have a teacher and the teacher isn't very good, it isn't necessarily their fault. You know, I, I've seen teachers, I had a teacher once who had a really thick accent. I, I can make a whole video on this guy because he was really cool, but he had a really thick accent and you could barely understand him. And because his accent was so thick and he knew that, he purposely went slow. He purposely talked slow. He was actually an amazing teacher. I, I could tell he was putting in extra effort. He was, he was my cryptography teacher. Brilliant man. This, this was, this is pre-Bitcoin by the way. Yeah. And so he was an example of a person I think who, because of his accent, maybe he wasn't able to communicate as well. And so he took the extra effort to do an extra good job. And not all teachers do that, right? So you'll get some teachers that, I mean, accent's one thing, but they're just not good at explaining. And so if you're in a situation where you've had that experience, maybe you took a class in high school or in college and you just felt completely lost for whatever reason, it's just a bad experience and it doesn't mean you're bad at math. I remember I had a teacher once for a class and I got an A in the class. I won't mention the class, but I didn't think he was a very good teacher. I thought he was, that was okay, right? I never said anything, I, you know, he was all right, but everyone else in the class really, really liked the teacher. They're like, oh, he's so great. And I was so confused. I, I really, did, I did not like the class because I didn't really understand what was going on in class. And so I, I tried really hard and I got an A and, you know, I'm happy about it, but I use this as an example because people thought he was a great teacher, but I had a hard time. So it wasn't the best experience for me, but I didn't let it ruin things for me. I guess getting an A helps. So if you had a bad experience with math, if you've had a teacher where you felt like because you didn't understand, that's why you did bad, it doesn't mean you're bad at math, okay? Just don't, don't write off mathematics for one bad experience is what I'm trying to say. Don't let a bad experience ruin your entire perspective of the subject because mathematics is a beautiful subject. I mean, you could take a calculus class with five different teachers and get five different experiences. You know, I've seen other teachers teach and I've taken multiple classes. So people present things in different ways and yeah, some ways are better than others. You know, I have my opinions. All teachers have their opinions. So if you're one of those people who, you know, feel wronged because you had a bad experience, don't give up on the subject. Right? Don't give up. You'd be surprised. I mean, I've seen some people explain things in mathematics in ways that are just, you just get goosebumps. I mean, just brilliant at explaining, just brilliant. And sometimes it's just saying something a certain way and it just makes everything click. So you might be really good at math. And, and, a, and a good example is that teacher I had who who I didn't understand, but everyone else 
did, right? Everyone else thought this guy was like a legend, right? So how does that make any sense? So that could be your situation. Maybe you're in a class and everyone's doing really well and they love the teacher and you don't get it, right? So it happens sometimes. And I consider myself, you know, average intelligence. I mean, I got a couple degrees, I got good grades. So it happens, it happens, it happens. You're not alone, is what I'm trying to say. And so how do you come back from this? Well, you just you keep taking math classes, you keep studying math, and you know, one of the things I used to always <laughs> tell other teachers, sometimes, you know, teachers talk to each other, you know, they're having a, maybe they're having a rough semester, you know, it's like, oh, my class, you know, they're doing all right. And, or they'll have a student in their class who, I don't know, is maybe annoying or something. And I don't know. And so I always tell people, you know, one of the interesting things about teaching is that the semester ends, right? It's good and it's bad. You used to always get really sad when, when the semester ended because that was it, you know? These people are gone. They move on with their lives and that's it. So it was kind of a sad thing. It's also fun though, starting a new semester, but the semester ends. So if you're a student and you're in a math class and you're having a hard time, just know that it's gonna end. Hopefully you pass. And if you don't, then you just take it again if you want to, right? Life goes on. It's not the end of the world, but it ends, right? It's not, it's not a forever thing. It's a finite thing. Your, your time, you know, your, your time in college is finite. I always, always tell people, you know, if you're in a class, this is your only time in that class, like right now. So if you're in a, if you're in a statistics class, this is it. This is, this is your moment. 10 years from now, you won't be in this class, right? So make it count, right? Make, make every effort to, to make it count. And that's a, a really good way to look at it because it really gets you to work hard and appreciate the moments that you have and realize that all you have is right now, right? This, this, this very moment, this is all you have. So yeah, that's all I have to say, I think. Hopefully, if you've had bad experiences with mathematics, this has helped you realize that everyone has them. Math is hard, <laughs> even without a teacher. I mean, you should be grateful we have teachers, right? Self-study is even harder, right? So learning on your own is, is, is even more challenging. So the fact that we have people help us is, is wonderful. If you wanna learn math, um, I have courses, the links are in the description. I have books, links in the description. And most importantly, if you wanna learn math, go do some math, my friends, stay strong.